Welcome back, everyone, to Red Flood. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulover, and we must talk about Algerian algebra. Millions of Arabian children sat in awe today as thousands of French teachers entered their classrooms to begin teaching. Most of these children have spent their lives in depression and squalor when they weren't working to feed their families through farming and begging. They would spend their time in the streets struggling to find entertainment, however, upon the great patron's recent Islamic Reformation initiative. These impoverished children will now have the opportunity to learn valuable skills such as literacy and arithmetic. As Le Patron announced to a buzzing audience of children with skill, practice, and sheer willpower, you can all become like your Patron! What's next, an Algerian novelist? Oh boy, so let's see what happens in this episode regarding the little war between us and, uh, Third International. Not going great for us, even though we've killed off quite a few of them, and they're starting to run out of manpower. Again, under Daddy Paul Joseph Gerby. So they have about 15,000 manpower. A lot of factories. More than double our amount, but hopefully we can... Oh, hello. Hopefully we can hold as for as long as possible. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Oh, boy. I got some more fuel. That's kind of nice. We're going to need that. It is 1940, so... Hope we can do well. I would like to get more research speed. Do we get artillery yet? We are getting that already. Actually, do we have any anti-air? Hold on. What have I been doing with no anti-air? Alright, are we not using some of these divisions? We got a couple columns to go through as well, but. Huh. Should have been using that way sooner than this. And I'm sure we don't have enough support equipment. Oh, actually, it might have enough for that, too, actually, too. That'd actually be very smart to use. And slowly getting arties. Throw in some of that, which should be good enough. And we probably don't have enough for engineers for these guys, right? Oh, we actually might. You know, oh my goodness, how did I forget that? How did I forget to use that stuff? Oh my goodness, I am big dum dum. Well, I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing okay myself. At least until we might lose against these guys, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh, well, and we have been slowly been starting to lose some French territory, which is very, very bad, but with engineers now and anti air, we should do hopefully okay. That looks so bad. Oh, don't worry about attacking. Please do not please do not attack. Please do not attack. Just defend like your life depends on it, because it does. We were doing so well before. Uh, ho hopefully now that they're out of map art completely, but we must do our next focus, in which we will do, uh, here are the voices. Now that we've eliminated all barriers against our citizens' enlightenment, we must now yield their energies and values to create a singularity upon our s entire state. We almost have 150 political power. We are so close to getting that much PP. Oh, yes, yes, more soft attack. Kill the Germans. Don't quote me on that, but get rid of them. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember what we have. Do we have military police in our guys? I mean, yeah, that's useful and all, but uh, suppression? It's not extremely necessary right now, considering we're in the middle of a war. Artillery, engineers. We're not using recon yet either, really. Hmm. Alright, nuclear technology then. Improved artillery? Great! Beat the crap out of the Germans as much as possible. Maybe get some better planes, even though we can't really afford better planes. Actually, instead of that, air doctrine. Yeah. Holy smokes. They are just... Please tell me they're not mobilizing. They're already on limited... Con I thought they were on extensive conscription already. I had a pretty good feeling that they were, but I guess not. Huh. All right, modify government. Oh, good, 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 good. We got that one. In which we're going to go immediately for more defense. 10% more defense. Now, hopefully, we will be able to hold here. For the love of God, I hope we can. Because they should be completely out of manpower. And have absolutely no way to really, you know, you know, win. But then again, I've been wrong before. Oh. A few more unassigned divisions. All right. More infantry. Uh, Jean Filolio. That's his name. Cool, and let's go and become charismatic. And organized. Because, well, those are all good traits to have. For the most part. Doing quite well on uh, fuel. Quite well. Can someone help out here, please? Don't worry about attacking over the river. They have been at the city, and I decided to get some of uh, these guys just because I do want an agent. So we might be able to help undermine their attacks or something, or even their defense. So that would be pretty good for us. So we lost a plane, maybe, or something. That's not good. Mechanized offensives, get more land doctrine. Let's grab some Count Grupa, which would be good for more organization and such. Everyone go in. They will not win here. 
I swear on Le Patron. They will not win. Hear the voices. Good. We got more war support, even though we don't really need it. More construction speed and war support. Now that our nation and our minds have thoroughly been purged of decadent thought, we now have opened ourselves to further acceleration of our society. As we pursue or peruse the great works of rightfully future society, we realize that we are all extensions of a single organ. Organ organic future. Therefore, we must underdo or undo any foolish concepts such as personhood and the ego in favor of the enlightened singularity. The singularity engine, please sign me up. We want a big kaboom. Alright, so, oh, the horde of one. Who are you? Le Patron asked or said to the voice around him. We are all, we are within you. The voices responded, we are everything and you are, we are your dominion. Le Patron has emerged against the deceitful lies about his mental state as a godly pantheon bound by one body. All of existence has gazed in amazement at his incredible intellect, his, his might which evaporates all in his sway. Now, however, he has told us amazing news. We are merely an extension of his own soul. Such great news. Has rocked the nation with joyous awe. People have lined up in the streets in a uniform silence, occasionally broken by a crying out of pure joy from some people. Those who had found themselves driven to hysterics by such wonderful news were quickly and humanely dispatched, of course, and our traitors were exposed during the revelation. In academia, and even among our own ranks, many found themselves relying on shifty facts and logic to dismiss the truth. Treason will not be tolerated. So these protests have been vanquished. The world is calling, and we will answer. My name is Le Patron, for we are one. Couple comments. Let's see. So when it says we gotta be prepared for the French super event that will happen eventually, super events are pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure when that's gonna happen, so I'll do my best to try to time things as best as possible, so we'll see. Uh, apparently, the Ukraine has done very, very well in this mod, so I don't know, maybe we'll play with them sometime. Uh, looks like they do have a unique focus too, which is pretty cool. Uh, who's this? Accelerationist Storm the Parliament. Bol Bolshan. Democracy must continue, and of course, Skoropatsky saves the day. Kinda cool. Let's see. Try out liberal Italy sometime. Okay, maybe. We'll see. Oh, they have part of Turkey, too. Look at that. Huh. Turkey is looking pretty sad. Armenia's there, too. And am I using planes? Yes. Actually, we were using planes the entire time. You see these? The entire time we were using planes, and they got the crap beaten out of them. Not very good. I know. Not very good. But we did the best we could with them. Wow, we're, we're lacking quite a bit, a lot of stuff. But not too bad on guns, actually. Guns are looking relatively okay. I guess it helps being on defense a whole bunch, but my goodness. Like... Ein Rotar Mist, Ein Kind im Arm. Oh, they raised the conscription level again. God dang it, are you kidding me? They have way too much manpower. We're holding out fairly okay-like. Not great, but fairly okay-like. You should actually be able to move up there pretty darn quickly. Get both your butts in there. They have to be out of guns. They have to be. Right? Because this resistance keeps going up higher and higher, hopefully, right? Please tell me it's going up by a lot. Because they should have no manpower... And no guns left. They really should have no manpower. How about guns for them? They have so much. Ace Blood Promoter is nice to see. It's good, good, good. Well, let's stop the attacks for now. Let's form the department. We'll do that. And let's grab uh, the enemy cipher. Boom. There you go. Marie. Division recovery. Charismatic. Oh, uh, I don't know if that's really going to work for us, but we can try it. Anti-air is going to be very good to have. Happy 1941, everyone. Let's get some more output, shall we? Yes, we shall. Good, good. Keep doing a good job, guys. You're doing quite well. Quite well. I wonder if we dare use one of these groups out here. Pitch them out to sea. See what you can find. Maybe you can blow up some enemy ships. That'd be kind of nice. Wow, these tanks looking pretty darn bad. I kind of doubt that we could win on an attack. Well, look at that. We're doing even better on guns now. Anti-tank was necessary as well. Oh, man. This is not good. We get way more motorized. Ban individual existence is very good. Um, Pan-Islamic Congress. Why not? To put away traitorous rumors within our colonies, Le Patron will wisely call a meeting for our fine, finest Islamic leaders to discuss futurism's grand future in the societies. Why'd you guys stop? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why did you stop? No. You have to continue attacking. Or we're not going to be able to win. Come on, go. Sounds like we're getting navel invaded. Where's the horse? Wow, we're just murdering that horse. Oh, the Caribbean Sea. Oh, okay. I'm not really concerned about the Caribbean Sea too much. Did we actually win? No, we're losing. That guys suck. Well, if that's the case, you know what? At this point, we could probably start trying to concentrate our uh, divisions around here. There's eight down there. And since they're out of manpower, they're not going to be able to put down resistance, so... At least that's a good thing. Mm, anything else? 
Yeah, we don't have time for that stuff. Apparently, you guys also said that America is splitting up, or going kaboom, is very rare or something. So, kind of cool. And Missouri's all alone. That seems very weird. Ooh. Four more subs sunk and five subs sunk. Very nice. Passive defense would probably be good, just in case. Come on, guys. We started banning the line. Come on, attack us. Come on. Come on, Charles. Come on, man. God, it sucks not having planes. Having no Air Force is just god-awful. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to win on any sort of attack. This is incredibly bad. So we can't we can't move. Alright. Comrades in faith. Our Arab colonies, once a valid... Uh, ooh. A uh, void of ignorance and debauchery have now reformed into a model of futuristic society. Still, the shadow of republic imperialism remains in the impoverished slums and decaying infrastructure. To fully unite our peoples, we must liberate our Arab comrades from poverty. Very, very good. And now they're attacking us once again, which is good. Let's see, we're building up, what is this? Military factories? That's good. Um, we're going to need way more guns for what I want to do. As well as motorized. So, yeah. We're going to need a lot more military factories. And, and you guys did say, like, in the last episode, um, yeah, these guys are going to get reworked, which is good, because they, they definitely need a rework. Uh, event of the season. Islam is a uniquely futurist faith, Le Patron declared today, met by thunderous applause from Muslims across the nation. While Europe sank into stagnation, disease, and decay, the Arab world entered into a golden age of wondrous investment, becoming the world's envy, from algebra to kerosene to even cryptanalysis. My brethren, without Islam's gifts to the world, futurism would not even exist today. The sheer force of this powerful speech drove out any withheld doubts towards futurism, as the entire Islamic world found itself moved to follow the ways of a great Patron. Even the most hardened critics found themselves silenced. The atmosphere of the Congress becoming a bubbling, accelerated frenzy. Truly, a kinship has been formed between our between our worlds. Viva la fraternité. Fraternity. Whatever. Hmm. And they have some empire back. That is not good. <clears throat> Alright, well, you guys failed horrendously, so... Keep defending up the north. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, you can't leave yet. Go and retreat and get out. Oh, finally, they're going to do something. Oh, they become Italy. Nice. <coughs> Sorry, I had a drink of water there, and apparently I drank water and went down the wrong hole. They're not going to lose. Oh, going to the steps. Hopefully, Russia will eventually fight the Germans, because this is ridiculous. Us fighting them ourselves? Pretty bad, man. Pretty darn bad. That's not good here, either. But at least we're holding for now, which is, you know, better than earlier. Holy crud, it was not very good. Um, we've killed off over 1.4 million Germans. Don't get me wrong, we're doing well in destroying people, but sometimes we want to actually win wars, too. So, we'll see. But I can't believe I didn't have engineers. I can't believe I didn't have anti-air in there when we were making all that stuff before. Guns are looking not too bad. I mean, we're making guns pretty darn quickly. Even though we still can use more military factories still, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, who's it? Oh, the Italians are attacking. Hello? You want a Dijon? No. Get the hell out of there, son. Can you actually help out here? No, you can't. Can you guys help out here? That'd be kind of nice. No. Comrades in faith. Embrace anti-colonialism. Like, over the last year, our African colonies have taken an almost absurd transformation from an impoverished waste into a society that could hold its own with an... We're the great homeland. Therefore, to reward the Arab people with their patriotic cooperation, we shall allow them a great deal of autonomy so long as they abide by the future's path. Good stability, war support, and efficiency cap. Not bad. Come on. I know they're quite well dug in, but it does not matter. They cannot have Dijon. Cool. Ace pilot promoted, alright. Jean, do you have anything for us to know? Alright. My god, the Germans are completely overpowered, man. We can't even get our territory back. This is so bad. 
Holy crap. It is so bad. You can't do jack squat. They have to be on a two-front war. They have to be. No matter what happens. They have to be on a two-front war. Or you, or you can't do anything against these guys. That's that's really bad. That's I just don't think that's really really good at all. Partial mobilization, though. Come on, guys. Attack us again. See what happens. They'll probably end up beating us. Freedom under French protection. As the Arab lands have now been integrated into a great nation, they must receive equal protection. After all, we must defend our brethren from the savages along their border. Very good. Yeah, the Germans need a nerf. Big old, big old nerf. Good. Build, 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 build. Russian state, Russian empire. Come on. They have so much manpower. It's ridiculous. Seriously, how are they still mobilizing? This is beyond absurd. This is absolutely absurd. Alright, you're going to attack? Well, it's our turn to attack then as well. Give me half you guys. Get out of there. Camp group, a more organization. We can get more manpower, but we're doing okay on manpower. Let's grab fire brigades. Even more organization for soldiers. Send half you guys over here as well. Ah, uh, let's see. Rangers, that's good. Nothing over there really. Joseph, nothing over there either. Hello. Yes, Russian state, we will take whatever you can give us. We desperately need more weapons. Get them out of Dijon. How are they winning in here and we're losing still? How? How? Sure, mo maybe mobile warfare is not the strongest doctrine, but it's not like we're using mass assault. I'm sure maybe we should be using motorized here. Did you, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Force it. Force, force, force them to die. 50. Well, at least we didn't lose. That's fine for now, I guess. But holy crap, this is so bad. Uh, oil? We're doing okay on oil for now. Alright, if that's the case, you guys can do this as well then. You guys seem to be doing okay, so... Yeah, we'll move you up here too. Freedom under French protection. France, salam al aikum. Our nation has reversed a century of oppression and degradation. The Arab man and the French man now share the same enlightened spirit and superior will. Algiers is just now as French as Britannies and Occitan. Cool, we get cords, which is actually very, very helpful to us. Good, we actually took it back from those despicable Germans. I feel like I'm... Like Yazaw from TNO. I'm. Did they switch back? No, they must have gone to extensive conscription before. No, there's no way. There's no way they went back. Keep thinking everything they got. And you know what? Let you guys do it as well. No imports to Germany. Hunt and destroy. Let's grab some of that too. Cast is hopefully do okay. Our planes are looking so bad, man. Oh. Come on, Russian Empire, do well. Please do well. Beat up the Entomarium. Come on, Germany. You wanted to have a war so bad, even though I know I went to war with you guys, but... Uh, how's this coming along? Oh. Quite intel boots, ideology, propaganda, root out resistance, control trade, diplomatic pressure. Now, will this help, like, upstart, like, more rebellions in the territory, like, occupied territory? Quiet. Boost ideology. Propaganda. Destable internal politics in the country to lower their stability and war support. Build an intel network. Eh. <laughs> Boost ideology. Control trade. Root out resistance. Resistance target. Diplomatic pressure. Hmm. I think we could exploit these maybe somehow, some way. Uh, but there's really not much we can do about that, so come down here, maybe. Perhaps. What can we learn about this? Is there anything we can learn, maybe? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Okay, so now you're fighting the Intermarium. Good. Go to hell, Germany. Go to straight to hell. Oh, they they started to lead the line. Seriously, I'm going to burn Berlin to the ground. But, Monopoly on reality. 
Our ideology is at the peak of all human philosophy, whether it be Western, Hellenic, Arabic, Eastern, or any other inferior school of thought. Having purged our greatest mental poisons, we must now ensure all thought is contained within our superior culture by any means necessary. Oh, I'm going to kill off all these Germans here in forever now. Oh, boy. They're going to wish they never went red. Yes. Papa Poland. Oh, I'm going to smash the hell out of these guys. Pissing us off like this. We better move quickly, because the Germans... Well, they usually like taking all the poles pretty quickly, but... We'll, we will do what we must. Alright, we ready to go? Come on, boys, ready to go? Get your butts over there. Why do you take so long, son? Why do you take so long? We're, we're claiming French territory. Let's go, go, go. Uh, uh, actually, give me quite a few more guys than that. We're going to straight through Luxembourg. Straight down there. Straight down there. Force the attack. You gotta go, 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 go. Yes, Ukraine. Please. Cancel Lend-Lease. Help him out. Help him out. Kill every last German you see. I said go in. I'm not sure what these guys are doing, but I literally told you guys to all go in. Go to hell, Luxembourg. We are, the end of German tyranny is at hand. Passive defense. Let's go interrogation techniques. Who are you? Oh, would you look at that? You abandoning your defenses? Oh no! Oh no! What a shame! Monopoly on reality, what is this? Military access, Belarus? Yes, you may gladly have military access. Come on, guys, kill them off. My god, you guys suck. The divisions just suck. Kill them all, though. Kill every single last one, like the uh, little modifier in TNO. It says kill them all, so you're going to kill them all. And then we'll do Omnoing Patron. Every thought in history has been made in the futurist realm. The thinkers have not just been aware of their proto-futurist inspiration. Even those who are in an anti-futurist society are still technically futurists. Therefore, the Patron, the absolute avatar of futurism, must logically know of all knowledge known to man. Good. Destroy everything they have. Ah, looks like they're doing pretty well as well. How many Germans are dead? Not enough. I'm going to make sure we're going to exterminate every single one of them. I'm feeling like we need a little bit of a, a lot of extermination here for these people. Who joined? Cuba? Yugoslavia? Good. Oh, they're done. I'm going to push in hard. I don't care. We're not going to stop the attacks. Give them five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Full front scale, front wide attack. You're going to force the attack. I don't care what happens. Uh, sure, you guys can come on in. More fuel, because we could probably use that. I do not give a crap what happens. You're going to kill every last German that you see. Oh, they did force defense. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Northern, our northern border of Germany is going to fall. Their, their border is going to fall. Yeah, look at that. They are, they're literally doing force defense here. I'm pretty sure. Look at that. That's not, that's not going down at all. But their strength is, which is good. No quarter for the Germans. Force the attack. Force them to die. Look at that. Oh, they're doing it again. Look at that. The strength is slowly getting weaker, weaker, weaker. Oh, it dropped a little bit. Oh, military factories? We actually have military factories? Wow, look at that. Get more cast. We definitely need more cast. We're running out of manpower. Uh, 1.64 million is pretty good, though. We lost two divisions because of the force attacks. I don't, I don't care, though. I really don't. Uh, faster than time? As we render our false impressions of personhood to the singularity, we must surrender our very bodies and souls to the acceleration onto another plane. Every ounce of our singularity must go towards the embrace of the future. 
Faster, faster, faster into the ground. Minds under his eye. Millions of children across the nation have organized an excitement for the new preschool, uh, new school programs. Based on extensive research from our party's greatest scientists, we have concluded that all human thought has originated from a common future singularity wholly embodied by our great one patron. Therefore, le, with Le Patron's help, we, he has overhauled our entire education system to reflect this internal truth. Our history books start with the ascension of Le Patron. Our literature consists of Le Patron's writings. And our mathematicians are geared towards preparing a new generation of engineers, architects, and mechanics, of, over, of course. Some educators have expressed concerns that these reforms will do more harm than good. But with some digging, these teachers were found to require their own new education. Additionally, to ensure a consistent and efficient economy, our industrial production is now adjusted and regulated according to these enlightened standards. Knowledge is like air, no one should be denied it. Good. How do they keep getting more manpower? I would love to know. I would really love to know. Poland, you gotta do better than this, man. You gotta push harder this. I don't care how many times we have to attack. I'm mean, gonna attack and attack and attack and attack. We've got to win. Diplomatic training, invisible ink. Oh, combat unit destruction is nice. Uh, let's grab some more air superiority. Go, go, go. There is no waiting here. No waiting. They're literally doing force defense well. We've lost about... 900,000. Jesus Christ, that's insane. That is absolutely nuts. But, you know what? We're going to make the Germans pay for every single inch of, you know, blood we had to spell for these guys. From these guys. Oh, there goes those guys. They're doing force defense again. I stopped doing force attack, which is just killing our guys off too much. But, an operative can be recruited. Oh, yes. There you go. Help up root their entrenchment in Frankfurt. As well as probably Oberbayern. How many divisions do they have left? Because they, they've killed off a, a ton of their own divisions like I have. They have too many divisions left. Go, 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 go. Sure, Ukraine, sure. Fire brigades are nice. Let's grab some backhand blow because we can. Uh, le oh, shot down. That's not good. Oh, by Dolfo. Oh, no. Oh, look at this. It's a big old battle. The pride of the fleet. Find the pride of the fleet. Sink it. Sink it. Sink it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so nice. We sunk the pride of the fleet. Uh, the Weimar. Uh, the Weimar has been sunk. Okay, at this point, go ahead and you guys go home. Um, you are no longer needed for that because we're running out of fuel. Crap. And uh, speed beyond space. As our revolution only goes faster and faster, as the ways of old are rendered to dust, and the new ways become quickly bypassed of the past, the revolution cannot be merely contained within our borders. We must go faster, even if we must conquer the world to do so. Not bad, not bad. I don't know if we're actually going to do that. But this actually might be the final episode, just because, I don't know, after you defeat Germany, there's a lot left to do. We're almost done with the focus tree, so. And they're up to 60 divisions max. Now let's grab a little bit more fuel, maybe, just in case. I love how you can just start doing that, and you get almost instant fuel. Ooh, actually here. War economy. Absolutely war economy. Civvies are nice. We can some more, use more millies, though. And synthetic refineries, too. 10%. My goodness. Year Zero. Dearest avatars of Le Patron, don't you think that counting and the passing of time are a nightmare? Who amongst us has forgotten that time Rosa Luxemburg used the institution of counting to discover how many French children she had shot? Who amongst us remembers 1917, 18, and 19, when a defilé of German boots marched across the Rhine and defiled poor Francia? If you answered yes to any of these questions, don't worry, don't fear her either. Le Patron will smother your anguish with his pillow. Always remember we have quit the pathetic old world, and the pathetic old world has quit us. Seconds and hours are merely an obstacle to be overcome, and another institution to be overturned as we reach l'état réel. <clears throat> we all know that the revolutionaries were the first surrealists. Like Le Patron's providence, this has always been the case and will always remain the case. They tore up the old calendar, knowing that a calendar aiming to appease the uh, bitches of possibility would always disappoint. Le Patron is also, also knows this and knows that the common era is dead. Until it ceases to please us, we'll measure time like so. Our calendar has six stages. The most basic one is unité. It is always greater than a second and always the same, though it is needless to specify by how much all the rest are steps. The first step is five units, four numbers are a sham. All rest are sevens. Time bends to our will. We're creating our own time here. Very nice. Hey, another task for sunk. Good. Get that carrier in motion. By God, I think we've got him. Oh, they're going to war. Oh, Bosnia. Did that pop out or something? That might have popped out. And that's okay with us.
Uh, Xavier Valor. Destroyer. Thank you. Actually, do you know if there's a Paul Chak? Yes, you do. Torpedo screens, destroyers. We, we are using destroyers, which would be pretty nice. I like enemy penalty says, And if we have to retreat, that'd be good. Um, that That's directly benefiting these guys already, so let's go and do that one, too. Final killer might not be bad, but we'll see. Oh, do we still get, sink another one? Hey, another small task force. Great, I love it. I love sinking enemy task forces. Don't stop the attacks. Infinite attacks faster, faster, for the love of God. Faster, faster, faster. Force it. Force them to die. Oh, we took Dortmund. There goes the Bosnia. I think they're done. I think they we broke them. Thank God for Poland. Oh, that's good. That's not, too many Germans that are alive right now. Too many Hungarians that are alive right now. Too many Cubans that are alive right now. Even though we didn't really fight the Cubans that much this time. You find them, you kill them. Simple as that. Which is kind of disappointing. Just, oh, maybe a bad idea because we now can't raid them as well. But, hey, you know, you never know. Hey, better fuel. Look at that. Good. More fuel? Uh, sure, why not? Go, go, go. We don't take as much territory before before the poles get anywhere. The spiritual golden rum declare one in Hawaii. What the heck is that? Collective dream. We are no longer men and women. We are no longer French. We are no longer even human. We are only the future. The avatar. The spark of creation. Oh, we get more tech and defense. Maybe we should have went for that one earlier. Oh, well. Thank God I went with anti-air. I didn't even realize it, I was making it. My, That's completely my fault. Oh, baby boy. Oh, man. Are they dead yet? No? Then try harder. Bulgaria declared war. Everything is falling apart in Europe. I love it. I love it. How many Poles have lost? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, goodness gracious. The Poles have lost nobody compared to us, basically. Cuba and Prussia. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, you guys are going to direct rule from Paris. Seriously, force them to die. Okay, they're dead. Okay. We have a puppet focused. Um. So, it's just them. That doesn't make any sense. Does Poland have claims on any of this stuff? No, oh, Germany's all course, so I guess we'll taste, take everything we can for that for now. I'm not really sure. Where are the Hungarians? Give me the Hungarians. And actually, just in case, let's make a bunch of... I guess oh, we're making medium tanks, huh? Huh. Who are we still fighting? It's yeah, just Hungarians, okay. Actually, let's give them military access if we can. What is this? Oh, no, I'm serious. Uh, you probably do want military access through us, guys. Like, seriously, you guys will die there if you, if you don't. Actually, let's see you guys over there. Send them down. Send them both down if you want to, actually. Who are you? Transylvania? Huh. Oh, you think we were fools, and you don't think we would have been able to get over here fast enough? Oh, how foolish you are. I swear to God, they're doing last stand again, but they're not. My goodness. I'm going crazy. I'm going nuts. Then again, this is Red Flood, so what do you expect? Ooh, academia stuff. Stuff over here. Collective dreams. Oh, if we can take Budapest, that'd be really good. I want to make these guys 40 combo. That was what I was trying to say earlier. We want mobile warfare. We don't have a lot of tanks, though. Hmm. Commando training, pretty nice. Assembly line production. I got some more resource efficiency gain. Why not? Dockyards, huh? There you go. Collective dream. I guess the last one is Etat Ariel, and we are Le Petron. Oh, more attack, defense, war sport, construction speed, research speed, factory output, just five Rogo sounds? Nice. I might want to monitor that one, though, just in case. Um, you know, just in case. We've we got a lot of guns here. Let's do this one. Put you on the bottom just in case for now. So, we always make sure we got enough guns going on.
Good. Battlefield support. Mission naval efficiency. Are the infantry down here? Not yet. Good god, they're taking forever. Oh, good. We're gonna have a lot of dead Hungarians here. So there's nothing about Germany, like, take, and winning the war? Seems kind of a big thing that we're missing, not gonna lie. Hey, there they go, okay. Do we just take them over? That seems kind of lacking, I'll be honest, man. Now, okay, so the Third International should be dead now, right? The anti Councilist Pact, through the Commonwealth of Nations, they never helped us out, so screw those guys. Um... League Solar is disappointing that they never joined us. But they are taking out Yugoslavia. Yep. Turkey looks really sad, but... I'm not really sure what else what we can do in this mod. So, yeah. I'm sure there's something here that we could do, and you guys are probably like, Oh, there's this you can do. There's this you can do as this nation. But I'm like, I just kind of want to see what happens here, and then we are Le Patron? I don't know. Maybe? Maybe no? I don't know. <laughs> I took French for one year in high school, and that was it. And I got tired of it and went to German. I only took French because it was either that's a Spanish. And I'm like, hey, everyone's speaking Spanish. So, I guess maybe now we shall uh, pause music. Just in case for Le uh, Etat Aerial. Maybe that'll be the super event. I don't know. We're looking pretty good, though. Looking pretty good. Ooh, piss gun. Le Etat Aerial. Ah, here we go. Considered by many to be a beacon of a new world. And by many more, the Scourge of Europe. Patron of France, Antonin Artaud, who you should look up in real life if you don't know who he was, has apparently proclaimed the end of France itself and subsequently the creation of Etat Réal, a direct in his world's declaration of war against reality itself. To the chagrin of liberals, socialists, communists, anarchists, reactionaries, and many others, the new state has embarked on multiple um, endeavors or endeavors to shatter the engine of reality. For instance, every single element of society is considered now an extension of Artaud himself, something which has resulted in tears of joy and horror across the former state of France as a peak of futurist experiment centered around Artaud's cult of personality, has reached its end point. The very destruction of reality itself, après la plus le beau temps. Okay, then, um, uh, that might be it, uh, I'm not sure, you know, I can be pretty, uh, artistic sometimes, but, I'm not sure what that was, but, etat aerial proclaim, the fault lies with your moldy systems, your logic of 2 plus 2 equals 4, your manufacturer, engineers, magistrates, doctors, who know nothing of the true mysteries of the body or the cosmic laws of existence, Antonin Artaud. But, I think that might be it, because we're already done with the focus tree, look at that, that's uh, kind of nice and quick, I kind of like it like that. Obviously, there's... Other paths, we, I do want to take some time, especially before the update comes out for, um, you know, Red Flood, Escadron, or just France in general, because I heard the, the entire thing might be getting reworked. You know, I would, like, ho be howling with wolves sometimes and go with the Celtic state or even away with the state. But that reminds me of CK3, which I need to get back to sometime. But I think we'll end it here just because it was fun. It was a little aggravating trying to fight the Germans, but it is what it is. It was what it was. And I've learned quite a bit about Red Flood. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.